What is up lads, my name is the Midnight Kid from Pez Universe and welcome to an eFootball 2022 news roundup. We're going to be covering everything, we're going to be covering all yesterday's announcements, we're going to be covering bits and pieces that released maybe a couple of weeks or months ago that you might have missed and just catch you up on that. And we're also going to be talking about the AC Milan partnership as well, which literally dropped about 10 minutes ago, so we had to get that in towards the end of the video. Um, and just a couple of talking points, you know, a couple of bits and pieces that excited me and a bit of a, a bit of a roundup on all the news and whatever. So it kicked off yesterday when the official eFootball Twitter account tweeted out and confirmed a release date, which was the 14th of April, seven days from now, um, next Thursday. And they also announced and confirmed that the mobile version would be delayed a little bit and that the new MyClub successor, the new squad building online mode, would be called Dream Team. So it was going to be called the Creative Team, but they changed that. So My Club becomes Dream Team. That is the official title now. And then we're brought through to the actual official web website itself here and the press release and the announcement. You just see here confirmation that the game is free to play. It's emblazoned on, you know, the main graphic of it. They're really, you know, emphasizing that, that this is a real departure from the Pez brand, the Pez series, which was, you know, a box physical version of the game eFootball is its own thing, it's free to play, and then you're going to have DLC for the modes coming down the line, that's what they've kind of said. But yeah, look, just on the announcement here, they do confirm that the release date is April 14th, they also talk about, you know, that they've adjusted the balance of the game and fixed bugs to ensure an enjoyable gaming experience, I mean, we all saw the memes, we all saw the issues with V0.9, um, and even at the moment, you know, whether you love it or hate it at the moment, I think that this V1 is going to be very different. You know, they've had six months to work on it, so it is going to be different. And I think they've also kind of learned as well that, you know, there's change and then there's stuff that, you know, you can't, you know, really like miss out on, you know. And I think that they've said that, that they've like said, look, we were infected, affected by the global health crisis. I mean, a lot of game studios were. Um, but this is kind of the first time I've seen them come out with this sort of communication. So it is appreciated. You know, whether you appreciate that or not is completely up to yourself. But for me personally, I think it's a good sign and hopefully it continues into the future where they say, listen, you know, we're allowed to make mistakes. We just have to own them and that's it, you know, and, and, and work on getting it better like us all. So again, they talk about um, defending changes, which is music to my ears. That's, you know, I'm a very defensive player. Um, and they talk about bringing back the teammate pressure, which was something that people have wanted since eFootball was announced and the game came out. Uh, they talk about matchup, shoulder charge is still there, but the teammate pressure is the big one, you know, and the pressure itself, um, you know, against the, the ball holder and being pressing and pushing and everything. So bringing back those kind of fan favorite features. Yeah, look, they need to tone it down. I mean, in PES 2021 at the moment, especially if you're playing co-op or you're playing against a really good player, it's going to be, you know, extremely difficult to, to not be pressed. So they do need, do need to hold it down, like tone it down a little bit. But I do love that. And I think the way that they talk about passing here maybe counteracts that. And they've even said that, you know, that they're going to be able to match this with the, the defense related improvements. And they talk about, you know, improved target indecision for passes, better pass speed, better pass accuracy for some players, improved AI decision making when receiving passes and improved movements when receiving passes. So I think, you know, one twos and stuff, you know, the better players will have a better awareness of it. You know, they'll have a better awareness of where they need to go. And again, we've got one of these kind of buzzwordy kind of uh, commands, a new command called stunning pass. So passing improvements and new command stunning pass. Um, again, they do love these kind of buzzwords. I mean, we've had, you know, sharp kick. We've had stunning pass now. We've had all those, you know, kind of words that we've had over the years as well. Um, but again, this looks like, you know, what it's going to be. You know, better passing with these commands, you can dictate the rhythm of attack and put the game, uh, put in that decisive final pass. They also talk about shooting. So enhanced satisfaction is aimed for with shooting, um, improved shooting speed with a focus on realism. Adjusts the rate of on-target shots to appropriate appropriately Related, reflect match circumstances. I can barely read. Sitting too far away. Um, better ball tracking then for the dribbling. So a lot of people like the, the dribbling and do like the dribbling in eFootball at the moment, but they have improved the response times for dash, which is the sprint, you know, the quick acceleration through the through the gears. And also better responses, response time to the L-stick input. So little flicks and tricks um, and dribbles like that. They also talk about an improved online 
uh, connectivity and a sharp touch command as well uh, for the little input feints. But we're going to come back to this client server system when I get a bit more information on it. But just to highlight that there, just to be thorough and to go through everything that they have written down here. But we will do an extra video on that. And then again, this, you know, as I said at the start, you know, going back to what fans want, going back to what people want. It's all right to have really, you know, innovative um, and intuitive, you know, ideas but you need to still keep, you know, the essence of what you want as a football game. So they're bringing back all the tactics, formation change, auto select, sub tactic, data management, individual instructions and all that sort of stuff. Now, the big one here that people will be interested in, especially online guys, is the new team building mode dream team. So it was a working title called uh, creative team. Obviously, it was called my club with Pez. Um, but they seem to have revamped the entire mode here. Now, we'll get into that in a couple of minutes because I want to talk about some changes coming to that, some things that people might have missed. And it seems to be kind of, yeah, it seems to be a big change for a Dream Team because there's a lot of stuff going on in it. But that's that's kind of pretty much it there. Um, and then they just say that, look, the mobile version will be delayed. They'll have an update soon for that. And that they're trying to, you know, thanks for the support and that they're trying to have more information and they will have more information when the game is out on the 14th, which is next Thursday. So seven days to wait. So one thing that you might have might have not seen is the match pass. So this was actually something that is very similar to COD's battle pass or Fortnite's battle pass or whatever. It's going to be linked to objectives and premium objectives. So there's going to be a free match pass. There's going to be a premium match pass, it seems. And that'll be tied to rewards and things that you can work towards. On top of that then as well, we have the players. You might have missed this. And just to kind of highlight this, you can see here that standard players are the only players that can be got with GP. So we'll go down to that in a second to a different graphic. But the feature, the trending and the legendary players, they have, you know, eFootball coins random, they have a chance deal and they have eFootball points nominated. So that still has to be confirmed as to how that's going to work. And I don't think we'll see that until next Thursday unless they release a press release with that. But this is a big thing. I mean, this immediately springs me back to MLO, which was one of my favorite game modes in all games ever. You will be able to buy designated players yourself with GP. So no more having 500,000 GP and spinning to try and get a good goalkeeper. You will be able to go in now and buy De Gea. You'll be able to buy Courtois. You'll be able to buy Mendy. Um, and again, the same with managers. You'll be able to actually buy the players that you actually want. And then you'll be able to train them up. So again, there's a lot of stuff on this here. They're saying, you know, that, that, that you can have and that you, you can you can kind of do. You'll be able to train up trending players and stuff like that. Legend players will obviously re be returning as well. So last but not least, we have the AC Milan partnership deal and the partnership announcement. Uh, Konami becomes AC Milan's first ever training wear partner. Now, listen, I mean, this is, this is again, this is a big thing in terms of you always need to have big clubs like involved with your game and big players involved. You know, they've got Messi, you know, they've got United, they've got Ronaldo, they've got a couple of ambassadors there, like, you know, from you can see from the graphics. But this AC Milan one, you know, it's it's a very iconic partnership and it's one I know that Konami are very happy with getting um, that they've always wanted to have AC Milan in. They've had Juve for the last couple of years, but I think AC Milan, you know, is obviously one that's very close to their hearts as well because they've had a really good work relationship with them for years and, you know, on and on. So they're going to be the new training wear partner, um, which will be the sponsor across their training wear, which will be designed and released in a couple of months time. And then they're obviously going to be, you know, a partner going forward for the long time. So you can have a quick read through that. Um, but it basically just kind of says exactly what, you know, I've summed up there. Um, and that's pretty much it, lads. So yeah, I hope I haven't gone through that too quick. Wanted to get everything in in about eight or nine minutes. So hopefully that suffices. But yeah, let me know in the comments below, lads, if you want to see more videos like this. Um, and let me know also as well if I missed anything and if you want to see any improvements, if the sound quality is okay. Um, let me know if there's any feedback or anything like that. Don't forget to check out the podcast as well, which will be coming. We'll be talking about all of this stuff in a more expanded uh, way as well so yeah that is it from me don't forget to uh, check us out again on all our socials keep an eye on everything and i will talk to you in a bit peace